Factory Customs have always fascinated me because the quality of each one differs wildly. Like, look at this. Is that even Nigel Gearsley anymore? Like, look at his spoiler. It's like twice the size of what it should be. The tires, the wheels are off. The decals are super off. And of course, the expression. Like, how much has he smoked already today? That is insane. Like, that is one of the worst factory customs I think I have ever seen. But then you have factory customs like Mater here, along with the rest of the Rusty's Racing Center Wrap Squad. And they are just incredible flawless actually if i may i mean look at luigi here special red metallic wheels that is just beautiful gold metallic based on red i'm not sure mattel would be able to do as good of a job on these if they did them because wow i just can't get over how perfect they are and it's like quality control it's not even like the design of it itself like the quality control is also really good i have two of all of these and they're all perfect like and i know a lot of people have gotten them themselves also great condition so Really got to applaud the factory customizers for doing this. We'll get into it a little bit more about how they all came to be in you know a couple minutes here. But I want to thank the suggestors of day three of the 12 days of Christmas. By the way, happy holidays. We're getting a little deeper into December. It's feeling really real now, like school is ending for some of us. School ended for me a couple days ago. I have graduated college now. I feel like I'm on top of the world, probably. Right now, it's only like November 26, but I'm projecting as long as I don't flunk anything. We'll see. But yeah, all right, GSG Customs, thank you for the suggestion. And Aaron, why? You guys are the best. You guys are the only people who suggested this Rusty's Racing Center rap mater of course i put up this community post in november taking suggestions for the 12 days of christmas and this was one of the ones i suggested for you to suggest back to me i know it's a little weird but i want to make sure that this has like a general structure and you guys don't know exactly all of what i have and what i can review so this is just like the best way it works out and yeah i'm trying to give as many shout outs as i can and for the last now three days i have given the max amount of shout outs i have been able to give if because no one else has suggested any of those cars like literally yesterday one person suggested that shouted him out day before there were two people shot them out today two people shot them out so i feel pretty good about it. now before we get into the review i want to shout out give me collectibles it's the holiday season you might be in need of a car you might be in need of a lot of cars and give me collectibles has just that so i'll leave his contact info and ebay store link in the description below Definitely one of the most trusted eBay sellers and just sellers in general out there. All right, let's get into the video now. So this is a factory custom that came out this year. Now, when I say came out, it means like it started being sold on eBay from China this year, whereas the other ones that I reviewed during the 12 Days of Christmas last year, Red, Luigi, and Sally, were on eBay last year. So they added one more to the collection. Unfortunately, they didn't do anything else. I really do wish they did Fillmore because Tomica has done Fillmore and they seem to be able to emulate what Tomica does quite a bit because Tomica did do Luigi and Guido. Here's their Guido, by the way, which the factory customizers haven't done either. So, so far Tomica has a monopoly on Fillmore and Guido, but they no longer have a monopoly on Mater. Now, technically, their version of Mater is more accurate, I think, right? Because it has the hood. Wait. Actually, you know what? This one might be more accurate. I'm not sure. In the credits, you guys will see right now. There is the Rusty's Rap Mater from the credits of Cars 3. He's like struggling. Like he's, I mean, obviously, none of them are accurate because it needs to like cover his tires and all that. But whichever one you think is more accurate, let me know in the comments section below. I'll probably make my decision when I'm editing this video. But yeah, obviously this is a based on like a Mattel version, so it's in the 155 scale versus the 164 scale that Tomica uses. So it's nice to see the differences here, but we're just gonna focus on Mater. And yeah, factory customs. A lot of people are still a little foggy on what these exactly are. And yeah, it's a little complicated, but basically there's people out there in China who take kind of, I guess, the simplest way to put it is they like take the blueprints for the molds like this is a mattel mold but it's not a mattel officially licensed product it is a counterfeit by you know all means it is a fake like this is not an official mattel product 
but it's also not like a handmade custom you know it's got rivets applied in a factory and these are some of the like actual bases sometimes they use these scraps that mattel throws away to make this stuff and a lot of people have varying opinions on you know if that's right or not i don't care i think i just want cars i just want new cars that's my priority for sure but yeah i love this mater it is gorgeous like i said he's got a nice expression there and it's actually different from like your typical mater which is so cool to me like here's your typical thailand mater his mouth is not open so that's kind of interesting he's got the lightning bolts on the side just like lightning mcqueen would have he's got a black front tire which or black front wheel which is not accurate it should be brown but who really cares it is a custom it could be whatever brown base of course as you can see they got rid of disney pixar they got rid of mattel because <laughs> they don't want to be tied to that who knows this may not even be made Anyways, you got this 95 rusty decal here on the side, looking nice and gold, quite shiny, but not quite as shiny as the official Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen. That is the only Mattel, like official Mattel car that has the Rusty's Racing Center wrap. Wrap. Love that word. He's got red side view mirrors here that are like a very soft rubber. You can bend them all about. He's got the sirens up here which are just painted over seems a little lazy but Tommy could did it too blue windows there and a blatantly just painted over red towing cables here Tommy could did put a little bit more detail into their towing cables they painted the siren and the light up top but yeah this is a very flexible like rubber plastic here like even more so than the Mattel made it like this is like a very hard plastic you can move it but it's very hard very firm this no I mean this look at that it feels very soft too which could be a good thing but I don't want to break it which is always what I'm worried about he's got rusties here on the bumper 95 oh I think I might have misspoke because that looks like a chip that he's got there on one of the hooks I mean, I could have self-inflicted that, so I'm not going to balk too much, but it's possible that these aren't perfect. He's got the white wheel back here, which is accurate. And though yet another black one up front. So there's a lot of compare here. I want to be thorough with this review, and so we're going to go through him with the Tomica one here. Obviously, missing the hood, so he doesn't have that. He doesn't have the Rusty's decal there. He's just got a red plastic engine which is kind of cool everything else here on the sides though is pretty much identical i would not be surprised if somehow they obtain like the decals or like just kind of like they got inspired by the tomica version i honestly would not be surprised if that's the case at all tomica also did this fun thing where they put rusties inside the towing cables bay i think that's pretty cool both have the same decals here on the bumper though. Obviously the other side is the same as well. But yeah, you can almost like pretty much copy and paste these decals on a lot of the townies, you know, whether it be Fillmore, Red, Sally, Luigi, Guido, whatever it is, you just gotta adjust them a little bit because it's not identical by any means, but you know, here you have Luigi. They all have like the bolts up the side and Luigi's pretty simple, you know, just red, and then you take off the decals on the back. I just really do love the red metallic rims there on Luigi. Sally, again, she has the exact same decals here. Hood decal, side decal, then nothing on the back. Now, red definitely was a lot different. He was the first one I think they did. I just love all the gold plastic parts to him. Probably one of the best factory customs ever. And again, it just looks so good. A lot of people thought because it looks so good, it was real. Something that Mattel was going to do. I mean, it even has red metallic rims. That is just like a high level of creativity that, again, like I said, I'm not confident Mattel would have even implemented themselves. Here again is the Tomica Fillmore, which is a little bit different. You know, you got the 95 on the roof there, Rusties all over the place. I would not be surprised in the slightest if... Fillmore is the next one that they do as a factory custom 
or maybe even Guido. I just feel like Guido, a little smaller, a little harder to apply the decals on a smaller area. Again, this is the Tomica version. And it's funny that even though Tomica cars are smaller than Mattel cars, because they're 164 instead of 155, Guido ends up being bigger. It's like everything just is like brought into like, there's less variation, variance. So everything's brought into the center. The bigger cars are downsized and the smaller cars are upsized. And that is all I have for you for this sexy Rusty's racing rap, whatever, mater, whatever you want to call him. He's not official. So you can make up whatever you want. Look at, we got Rusty's racing center colored gifts over here. It's a wonderful time. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you to the suggestors. I hope you enjoyed this video. A lot of factory customs during this season of the 12 days of Christmas. And I hope you guys enjoy them. I'll see you tomorrow for day four. Bye now.